Hi everybody. Today's video is all about vitamin D. It's one of the most chronically deficient nutrients we have in our bodies worldwide. Over 50% of the population in the entire planet is deficient in it. It's a big problem. And if you want to find out what some of the health risks are when you're low in this, I suggest you stick around and find out. Okay, so first of all, what is vitamin D? It's a group of fat soluble vitamins produced in the body in response to sun exposure. We also can eat them in our foods and supplement. Vitamin D is also known as the sunshine vitamin because that's where we primarily get it. It helps regulate our calcium, magnesium, and phosphate that we have in our bodies. Vitamin D itself exists in two major forms, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. D3 is what we specifically get from the sun exposure and from the foods we eat that are animal-based. Our meats, fish oils, egg yolks, and vitamin D2 we get from plants. However, vitamin D3 has been found to be more effective at raising the vitamin D levels in our bloodstreams. So there are many disease-fighting powers of D3. It plays a vital role in warding off many health problems. This includes MS, heart disease, cancer, COVID-19, as well as autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, and inflammatory bowel disease. And even though its deficiency is linked to an array of many diseases, it's one that can also be easily remedied by supplementing with it and getting more sun exposure and being more active outdoors. However, the darker complexion your skin is, the harder it is to absorb vitamin D. So the more melanin you have in your skin, the more darker complected you are, the more conscious you need to be about the vitamin D that you need to get to supplement and make sure that your bodies are at a good level. Evidence shown that through the pandemic, the more vitamin D3 people had in their bodies, the less severe their symptoms were and the duration of it was less. Vitamin D may actually play a role in preventing certain types of cancers, specifically for people who live in the Sun Belt. So did you know, the further away from the equator that you live, life expectancy actually decreases. D3 boosts our mood, especially in the darker months. I used to live in Alaska when I was stationed up there for three years in the Air Force active duty. And it was tough time every time winter came around. People love Alaska during the summers, especially for the fishing and the outdoors and its beauty and it's amazing. But winter times and living through it were not easy. In February in Alaska, they actually have Spouse Abuse Prevention Month. They recommend that you take extra steps to take care of your spouse, take care of your own mental health, put your face under red light therapy, supplement with vitamin D, do whatever you can to help your mood because that seasonal affective disorder is a big thing throughout the world. This is also why when the weather gets cold, we layer up and our exposure to the sun decreases because we're inside more. When we're outside, we're, we're layered up. So really, our, only our faces are exposed, which is a small percent of our skin. Depression has also been associated with lack of this vitamin, which also rises during the cold winter months. Vitamin D can aid in weight loss. Without this, there's greater risk at developing obesity. It can prevent osteoporosis, asthma, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol, allergies, influenza, type 2 diabetes, oral health even, as well as dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Guys, that's a lot of things that vitamin D can really help us with. So like I said before, the causes of low vitamin D are essentially low UVB exposure from the sun. However, with people being afraid of skin cancer, we tend to stay indoors more. The pandemic, everybody was staying indoors, not going outside very much. So it's catch 22. How much of your time do you spend outside without the sunscreen to get the vitamin D, not get the skin cancer? How do we balance being more active, going outside versus staying inside and protecting ourselves? And the fact of the matter is, you know, is being comfortable 
is killing us. Sitting on our couches, staying indoors, not doing the things that aren't so fun, going to work out. It's just simply very important to get up off the couch, exercise daily, go outside. I don't care if it's freezing cold or sweltering hot, you need to get outside, be more active, get that sun exposure, take supplements. I will be putting links to my favorite supplements below for vitamin D. I take mine every day. I've had my vitamin D tested. It's actually at a good level, thank goodness. But please, please get yours tested. Know that your vitamin D is more than likely too low and you need a supplement. With that, I have also listed below foods that you can eat that contain more vitamin D. Age is another factor. The older we get, the more complicated it is for our skin to actually absorb as much vitamin D as when we were younger. Secondly, age slows down our kidneys, which makes them less effective at converting the vitamin D from the sun into the form that we can be used by our bodies. Excessive weight impacts our amount of vitamin D because the fat absorbs it and it doesn't get used by our body. So the heavier we are, the more we need to supplement with it and the more foods we need to eat that contain it, the more we need to be conscious of it. If we have gut problems, our bodies aren't able to absorb it that way either. But the long and short of it is, it's tough to get enough sunshine. And depending on your habits, your daily diet may not give you enough either. So the best thing that you can really do is supplement with a high quality vitamin D supplement. I've listed my favorites below. Also, I've listed foods that have vitamin D. They're naturally present in cod liver oil, salmon, swordfish, tuna fish, dairy and plant-based milks fortified with vitamin D, sardines, beef liver, egg yolk, fortified cereals, even mushrooms. If you put mushrooms out in the sun, they're gonna absorb more vitamin D for you. So with that, I hope this video has helped educate you about the importance of vitamin D. Please go get yourself some good supplements if you don't have any already. Get your butt levels tested if you don't know what it is because more than likely you're deficient in it. Like half of the world population, it's a chronic problem. I hope this video has helped you. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.